Man is God. He is everywhere. He is anybody. He knows everything. This is the Prometheus New World. It all started with the media revolution, with the internet, at the end of the last century. Everything related to the old media vanished. Gutenberg, copyright, the radio, television, advertisement. The old world reacts. More restrictions for copyright. New laws against unauthorized copies. Napster, the music peer-to-peer -peer company, is sued. At the same time, free internet radio appears. TiVo, the internet television, allows the viewer to avoid commercials. The Wall Street Journal goes online. Google launches Google News. Every day, millions of people read All My News, the biggest online newspaper written by thousands of journalists. Flickr becomes the biggest repository in the history of photos, YouTube for movies. The power of the masses. A new figure emerges, the prosumer, a producer and a consumer of information. Anyone can be a prosumer. The news channels become available on the internet. Blogs become more influential than the old media. Newspapers are released for free. Wikipedia is the most complete encyclopedia ever. In 2007, Life magazine closes. The New York Times sells its television and declares that the future is digital. BBC follows. In the main cities of the world, people are connected for free. At the corners of the streets, totems print pages from blogs and digital magazines. Millions of people are now getting used to the internet, many virtual worlds. A person can have multiple online identities. Second Life launches the vocal avatar. The old media fight back. A tax is added on any screen. Newspapers, radios and televisions are financed by the state. Illegal downloading from the web is punished with years of jail. Around 2011, the tipping point is reached. Advertisement investments are done on the net. The electronic paper is a mass product. Anyone can read anything on plastic paper. In 2015, newspapers and broadcasting television disappear. Digital terrestrial is abandoned. The radio goes on the internet. The media arena is less and less populated. Only the Theranosaurus Rex survives. The net includes and unifies all the content. Google buys Microsoft, Amazon buys Yahoo, thus becoming the world universal content leaders with BBC, CNN and CCTV. The concept of static information, books, articles, images, changes and is transformed into knowledge flow. Advertisement is chosen by the content creators, by the others themselves and becomes information, comparison, experience. In 2020, Lawrence Lessig, the author of Free Culture, is the new US Secretary of Justice and declares copyright illegal. Devices that replicate the five senses are available in the virtual worlds. Reality could be replicated in single life. And one has an Agav, agent avatar, that finds information, people, places in the virtual worlds. In 2022, Google launches Prometheus, the Agave standard interface. Amazon creates Place, a company that replicates reality. You can be on Mars, at the Battle of Waterloo, at the Super Bowl as a person. It's real. In 2027, Second Life evolves in the spirit. People become who they want and share the memory, the experiences, the feelings, Memory selling becomes normal trading. In 2050, Prometheus buys place and spirit. Virtual life is the biggest market on the planet. Prometheus finances all the space missions to find new words for its customers. The terrestrial avatar. Experience is the new reality.